Hey everybody, this is Ashley from the Athens Regional Library Systems Heritage Room at the athens Clark County Library. I'm here with your Tuesday tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to use city directories in your research. City directories have so much information. Um, it's it, and they're online. The majority, um, there's a large portion of them online these days. So we're going to be specifically looking at the City of Athens city directories, and they are currently digitized. Not all of them, but a good portion of them are on Digital Library of Georgia. So from the Athens Library website page, we're actually just going to go directly to DLG. It's a free website. It's always accessible. So we're going to type in that URL. It's dlg.usg.edu and go straight to the Digital Library of Georgia. Once there, we'll hit the Explore tab, go to Institutions, scroll down, and go to athens Clark County Library. Here you can see all of our collections that are available on the Digital Library of Georgia, but we're going to look specifically today at the Athens City Directory, so we're going to click you can see here that this is a combined collection from um, Hargret, UGA Libraries, and um, Athens Regional Library System. So we have city directories ranging from 1889 that are online all the way to, let's look, there's 32 of them. And they go all the way to 1958. So really nice cross section. Of course, there's going to be missing years. Those are being filled in. We are working towards getting um, our city directory collections uh, digitized and online and available. So let's let's just go and take a look at the 1942 city directory. So we're going to scroll down, and there it is. So you can see here there's two 1942s. This is the full one. And then this is a supplement edition, meaning they went back, you know, partway through the year or after they had already put this together and, you know, a month before it went out or something and kind of put a little amendum, amendum, I can't say that word, <laughs> um, out with it. But we're going to go to the original. So to look at this on DLG, we're going to actually click on the image and what will happen is it will pull up a PDF. This PDF is 525 pages. Whoa. You can download it to use it offline if you wish. You can even print it if you want to. Um, but again, it's 525 pages, lots of pages. So we're going to scroll through. There's our front cover. And then there's a couple things I want to point out. So it does give us a really nice general index of which, you know, where what information starts where, um, but we're going to just go through and kind of highlight the things that I find my, most useful for folks when they're doing research. So one thing I want to bring up first, let's see if I can get to it. Ah, just passed it are the abbreviations page. I find this um, tremendously helpful because the information in city directories isn't just names, it isn't just addresses, it isn't just phone books. Um, they also list occupations and then some other information about homeowners or uh, residents. So a couple things that I want to point out is, you know, generally just take an overview of it, look at it, or you can refer back to it. Just remind yourself what page it's on. Um, because it will list those abbreviations for the um, occupations for folks. But I want to point out these two things. So the little C in a circle, it looks like the copyright mark, indicates whether or not that resident or homeowner was colored, African American. And then the H right up here with a circle around it indicates whether or not that person was the homeowner. Just like today, people rented their homes um, and some people owned their own homes. So, you know, that H will indicate that. 
And then there are some proper names who will be uh, abbreviated as well. So take note of that. A GEO is a typical abbreviation for the name George. Um, and ROBT is a typical abbreviation for Robert. So you can see those WM, William, you know, those different things. And then as soon as we're done with the abbreviations, we get right into that residence list. And what you'll notice here is that it will list people by their last name. So Carl Aaron, T, and then Vera B in parentheses. So oftentimes uh, wives, spouses were listed in parentheses. Now, if a woman was widowed, they would list her name first and then the husband's name who is deceased in parentheses. Um, then they would list a, the um, occupation and then the residence. So R would be their residence address right there. Um, and you can see here, like some people had telephone numbers, some didn't. It was 1942. Not everybody had a phone at home. Um, it wasn't common to, to have a phone. So you can see that where spouses are listed. In with their husbands. Ah, here we go. This is what I wanted to find too. So see here, Emma Adams is listed. And you're like, oh, a single woman. Um, well, her husband, RC, an abbreviation for something, we don't know what, um, was her, you know, she was widowed. She's the homeowner, lived on Prince Avenue, and she does have a telephone number. Ooh, I love this. So Flora B. Adams, she's a librarian at Athens High School and lived on Prince Avenue. So that's great. And you can see here, this these phone numbers are the same. Party lines. <laughs> I wonder if anybody grew up with a party line. All right, so that's kind of the just a general overview of that residence list. We're going to go all the way down to the addresses. So this, this section I find tremendously helpful, especially when you're looking up um, locations. So you want to know the history of the building that you live in, the home that you live in, or the business location, this is where you want to go. So you'll see here on Barry, don't know if it's Street Lane Avenue, but Barry, north from 555 East Strong to Bridge. So it'll give you the directional. Um, so you know which way they're running from. Are they running from this street or from this street? And then they'll list the house numbers, the name of the resident, and then you can see here this person was an African-American person and they were the homeowner. And this one's interesting, so I like this. So 180, there's Ella Kendrick, African-American woman. And there obviously was a residence in the rear of the lot, but it was currently vacant. So you'll see that, and then you'll see apartment numbers and things like that as well. So let's see, Boulevard, you can see here, these residences were vacant. I wanna see if we can find an apartment. I don't know if we will. Apartments weren't too, too common in the 40s in Athens, but here you can see here. So 51 on Braze was Joseph. So J-O-S is an abbreviation for Joseph. Goolsby, African-American, 51A. So either a duplex or something like that was Brittany Roebuck. That very well may be Bertie, Brittany, African-American. And then what I find interesting too is you get to the um, businesses, like the business districts. So you can see here on College Avenue, which we know is you know downtown, you'll see there's a couple vacant spaces. It's 33 and a half. I love the half addresses. I think they're cute. Um, so Athens Savings Bank Building, National Bank of Athens. Go back up to the top. Malcolm and Garrett Grocers, Ritz Theater Motion Picture, 
and they'll list phone numbers at the end too. So 2017 was their phone number. That's pretty much the gist of a city directory. You know, you'll notice there's tons of ads in them. The ads are really cool to look at, but really the most fruitful information is, you know, people's names, the occupations, and then the history of the address that you're looking at. One thing that I do want to remind folks is that addresses and street numbers and street names changed over the years. So it would benefit you to look at a map from that time period. Um, and coming up later this month, we'll be going over some Sanborn fire insurance maps. And those will be tremendously helpful and really supplemental to these city directories. So please stay tuned for our next Tuesday tutorial coming up this month. Nice to talk to you guys today. Have a great one.